Now let's talk about how we change our bid strategy so we can move things to manual to be able to actually set our bid prices ourselves. Because we're gonna start out with letting Google change our bids to whatever will maximize the clicks that we get from our ad groups that we set up. And that's okay to do for the first day or so in the beginning or for as long as we can afford it, of course, if it's producing a profit. But for many keywords and many campaigns and many ad groups, we'll find that they're just not profitable at those high rates that Google will give us to kind of try to make us number one. They can become profitable over time if we really increase our you know, click-through rates and then allow Google to control us for maximum clicks. So you can bounce back and forth between manual bidding and letting Google maximize the bids in order to maximize the clicks. And again, we're going to get rewarded as we increase the click-through rates and our quality scores. So Google will give us more traffic and clicks even at a lower price, but we will get to a point we want to control the bidding. So here's how we do it. It has to be done at the campaign level because we set the strategy there for maximizing our clicks. So what we need to do is once you have a certain campaign highlighted, you come up to the top where you can edit the settings and Search network only if it's on all features or standard. We click edit. We see this page that we've seen before. Now down here we see bid strategy. It's set to maximize clicks. Remember we set this when we set up the campaign. You edit that and then you click change bid strategy. You click that and then it says automated maximize clicks. We bring this drop down and we go to the very bottom manual bidding. So we put that on manual CPC and then we click save. And now it shows that our bid strategy is manual cost per click. So then what we can do is we can go back to ad groups. We can go inside of an ad group and we'll see which keywords and which matches, you know, phrase match, broad match modifier in this case, or if we went into the ad group that had the exact match, how I'm telling you to set it up, then we basically see these line by line based on keywords. Now the second column here is status. The third column here is max CPC. So if we click into that column, it will let us specify the bid. So if we put one as in $1 and we click save, now the max click cost per click that we're setting it to is $1. This is now what we're bidding. We've changed the bid price. We're no longer letting Google set that bid price. Now you'll notice the max cost per click, the number $3.16 for this example that was there before, that's what Google had decided needed to be, you know, pretty much the bid for us to be shown at the very, very top in the number one position or as close to it as possible. So that kind of gives us a range of, of what it is. Now, this isn't very telling for exact data because in this case, these example tests haven't even run at all against whatever the market price is for competitors and we've established no click-through rates. So those are typically much higher than they will be. So those rates will typically come down a lot more, but we can come in here and we can set the cost per click. We can put this at, you know, 25 cents per click if that's what we want to bid. Uh, and then that's it. And once you click in here and save, then those bids are set and now those ads will be run. So when you change your bids and you're coming down uh, on your click prices, you'll want to come back, you know, after a day or two or even a week and see what kind of impressions you got. And you can filter, by the way, by date. So if you know when you changed your, uh, your bid, you may want to just make a note of it. Then you can come in and see, well, how did my impressions change for as far as, you know, Google showing my ads? When I dropped it from, you know, whatever the max bid was or on the maximum click setting down to manual bidding and then at 25 cents, what happened? Is my ad still getting shown? Am I still getting some clicks? And then you can kind of look at your conversions along with it and determine how your profit has changed. You know, do you make a lot more profit at 25 cents? Yeah, you probably do, if you're, but are you still getting traffic? And if you're still getting traffic, are you getting enough clicks? So you're gonna to have to tweak, especially the top keywords for your market. You're gonna to have to play with the bids to really dial in how to maximize your return, how to maximize your profit. It's not always at the most expensive top bid price to be number one, because you're paying more per click, so your profit per conversion is less. However, if your bids are too low, you're not getting enough clicks to get enough conversions uh, to make enough total profit. So while your profit per conversion is higher at a lower bid price, it's all about the volume uh, formula, which I taught you when we talked about traffic formulas in that module in this course, you get, it's, you know, you pay for a premium of volume. So paying more to get more volume can ultimately make you more money. So if you pay, you know, $2 a click 
and you're making $10 in profit per conversion, but you're getting, you know, 10 times more conversions than you would at only paying 10 cents a click, uh, you know, then it's worth it to pay more. So anyways, you have to do that math on what the total net profit result will be for that specific keyword and that specific ad group in order to make those decisions on where your bids need to be.